saute. And then we're gonna also have a Caesar salad with a homemade dressing. We're gonna get started on the salmon. Now, I found this at um, the store. This is wild sockeye salmon. And the reason I chose it for today's program is this literally was the prettiest side of salmon I believe I have ever seen. And so I thought, you know, my family loves salmon. So I thought, well, this is an easy to cook, quick cook meal for you and your family. Now, you can use frozen salmon fillets. I do that often. I typically do have in my freezer a bag of the frozen salmon. It's perfectly fine. This was fresh, but you can substitute the frozen if you want. Fish needs very little seasoning. This is a beautiful piece of salmon. I'm gonna coat it with just a little bit <clears throat> of olive oil. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt. You don't need a lot of extra flavors on salmon. If it's a good piece of fish, it doesn't need anything. It really does not. Lemon and fish goes perfectly together. So I'm using some lemon pepper. Now this particular one does not have salt. So that is why I chose to go ahead and salt my fish first. If your lemon pepper seasoning has salt in it, skip the salt. Now just put some lemon pepper on there. As much or as little as you like. And a little bit of dried basil. This is optional. I think it just adds a little bit of interest. I like to put the basil in my hand <clears throat> and kind of crush it as I sprinkle it on the salmon. Please overlook my voice today. I don't know. <laughs> we shall see. We're going to pop this in the oven. It's going to take about 20 minutes to bake. If you have an air fryer, you totally could cut that into individual serving pieces and put them in your air fryer. Would be delicious. That works too. All right, now we're gonna make a quick a side dish of sauteed green beans and mushrooms. But first, let's come over here. I have a pot of water that I have brought to a boil and I'm gonna add one can of chicken broth just for some extra flavor. If you don't have the chicken broth, that's okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some orzo, about half the box <clears throat> of dried orzo. Let's add some salt to that water because it really is the only chance you're gonna have to season that pasta. Let's stir it up. That needs to cook about eight or nine minutes. Pasta or orzo pasta is a very, very quick cooking um, pasta. If you don't have orzo and you wanted to use rice, you totally could. I'm going to go ahead and preheat this skillet. And I'm going to put a little bit of butter in there. And a little bit of canola oil. I'm going to saute. Well, actually, I think I'll just put the green beans in there first. I'm going to let that melt. If you have an onion, you could also put an onion in it. But I don't have one today. Now, these are baby Bella mushrooms. And I did wash them. There's a big debate whether or not you should wash your mushrooms. I wash them because they're grown in dirt. And I just, you know... They don't, if you don't soak them in the water, they're not going to absorb a tremendous amount of the water. Now, you should have seen the strainer when I got through. If you see the strainer, you're going to wash your mushrooms too. I watched a program once from America's Test Kitchen, and they actually did a test uh, whether or not the mushrooms absorb a lot of water, and it was minimal, so I washed mine. I'm going to slice these. These are baby Bellas because they're what they are what looked pretty. But you could use white button mushrooms. You could use any kind of mushroom you like. 
I'm just slicing them. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Are you suffering with allergies too? That's all this is, is it's allergies. I just, I'm really, really, really sensitive to pollen. If I spend any time outside, it just, it just does. I don't know why. I've always been this way. And it can come on in the drop of a hat. <clears throat> I was fine. When I left to come over here today, <laughs> oh my goodness, and I got here and I was like, well, I'm already prepped. I'm already ready to go. I've already got all this stuff. So my little family at home, will they will not mind my raspy voice. I probably sound like a bullfrog, but it is what it is. I can't help it. <clears throat> Now, once that butter has melted, we are going to add a little bit of water and some fresh green beans. Now, all I did was, these are the little thin, um, the little thin green beans. They don't need a lot of time to cook. If you are using like half runners or something like that, I definitely would cook them in some boiling water first, but these are those wonderful little thin green beans, just snap beans, and they don't take any time at all to cook. I'm just going to steam them for a few minutes and let that, this is not the right lid, this one is the right lid. We're going to let those steam for just a few minutes, and then um, for about three or four minutes, then if there's any water left, I'll pour it off and we will add in the mushrooms. I'm going to clean up my workspace, take a quick break, and when I come back, we will finish up the green beans and check on the orzo and start the salad dressing. I'll be back in just a minute. Now our salmon is in the oven. Our green beans are cooking. I did take the lid off of the green beans so that the water could evaporate. Our orzo is cooking. Now let's make a dressing, a homemade Caesar salad dressing minus the anchovies. A, an original authentic Caesar salad dressing has anchovies in it, but I don't have any, so I'm not going to use them. You need to start with a little bit of mayonnaise, about a fourth of a cup. I'm not going to measure. Let me just get it down to the bottom here. We're just going to put about that much, <laughs> about a fourth of a cup. Some Worcestershire sauce, just a little bit, a couple, three, four drops. Not, not a whole, whole lot of this. It's very strong. A clove of... <coughs> minced garlic if you have it. I don't, so I'm just going to use the garlic paste. This is in my refrigerator pretty much at all times. Then you need a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper and some olive oil, a couple of tablespoons of good olive oil. You want that flavor. All righty, let me get this back over here out of my way. Those green beans smell so good. You need some lemon. I'm going to zest my lemon, too. You don't have to zest it, but I think it just adds so much flavor. The essential oils of the lemon are in the, the, ze the uh, skin, the outer portion of the rind, and I like to zest it. If you don't want to, you don't have to, but I think it adds... A whole lot of flavor. Okay, we're gonna 
Always roll your lemon on your surface. Kind of loosens up those juices a little bit. Put that zest in there. Cut my lemon in half. I'm gonna use my little lemon squeezer. If you don't have one of these, <clears throat> I strongly advise get one. If you use a lot of citrus, because they really do a great job of getting the juice out without the seeds. Put your, if you don't, if you've never used one of these, you put the cut side down and then squeeze it over the container and it really does get all that juice out. These were good juicy lemons. Okay. Now, just stir it up, whisk it up. If you want it to be a little thinner, you could add a little bit more olive oil. I think that's about right. Now, obviously, you could put this dressing over any kind of, of uh, salad greens that you want. Traditionally, Caesar salad is made with just romaine lettuce. So I have some heads of romaine that I'm going to just cut. I have washed these. Romaine just has a wonderful crunch to it to separate the, the whole thing. I love romaine lettuce. I like iceberg. It has a good crunch to it. For some reason, and I really don't know why, iceberg upsets my stomach. I, I do not know why. It just, it just tears my stomach up. No other lettuce does but iceberg, but I do eat it sometimes. But I love romaine. It has the same crunch. It actually has some good nutritional value <clears throat> whereas um, your iceberg lettuce really doesn't have any nutritional value. Now, I want to add to mine a little bit of fresh parsley because I think that fresh herbs just really do add flavor and a brightness and a freshness to anything. So I'm going to chop up just some fresh flat leaf parsley. If you don't have it, don't worry about it. Traditional. Uh, Caesar salad does not have the uh, parsley in it, but I, I like it, so I'm going to add just a little bit. And I'm going to mix all that together. Now, that was two <clears throat> heads of romaine. Get it off my hands because that's where a lot of it's stuck here. <clears throat> I'm going to add some croutons. I'm just buying my 